Alrighty, alrighty. Good evening, everyone. How are you doing to both my chefs? How are you? I see you're preparing in the background there, mm -hmm. ready to go. Yes, Chef Irie, you you're ready to go. Yes, Rick, you're ready to go. Yep. It is now 5 p.m. and I would like to welcome those of you who are tuning in this evening, welcome to our live broadcast. Oh, come. They say, come, come, come. Bring your friends, bring your family, bring those in your network, bring your neighbor, somebody who you know. Oh, come, all ye foodies, to the 12 Days of Caribbean Cooking Festival, brought to you by Travel Advisors, Selling the Caribbean. I am your host for the evening. Ladies. I can't hear Denise though. Hearing me? Oh. You're not second. hearing me, Dereed? Yes, we can hear you, we can hear you. Okay, okay, so welcome. Um, I'm your host for the evening and I am the producer and presenter of the radio program called Inside the Zone with Lady D. It is it is broadcast here in New York, and it's a Monday and a Thursday feature, and it's my pleasure being here with you this evening. We have two illustrious chefs, Jamaica's Hugh A. Sinclair, AKA Chef Irie, and British Virgin Islands's phenomenal chef, Arik Flax-Clark. And they will be taking us on a culinary journey this evening. As you can see, both chefs are prepped and ready to start their cooking demonstrations for us. But before that, I would like to invite them to the platform to extend their greetings to you and to share a little bit about who they are, where they are from, what they'll be doing for us, and then we get the show on the road. Um, Chef Irie, I'd like to start with you first. All right, Arik, are you there? Okay, Chef Ari. I'm here. <laughs> All righty, so I'd like you to say hello to our viewing audience this evening. We are global, you know, a lot of people are watching us and you, of course, you are no stranger to this um, very large platform. So hello to you, welcome. Let's do our introductions. Ah, yes. Welcome, everybody. Good evening. Yay. <laughs> All right. So, what, do I start? Do I? Um... Just say hello to everybody. Tell them where you are. Okay. And yes, what we can expect from you this evening. Awesome. Awesome. Well, good evening, everybody. And thank you for joining. Uh, not just myself, but everybody that's on the platform, all the people from TASC. And if you've been uh, vibing on the chefs all week, I hope this has been fun and hopefully this evening won't be anything less. Absolutely. So I'm and I'm here in South Florida. This is my base. I'm from Jamaica. And um, welcome. Yes, yeah, so let's have some fun. Thank you. And Eric Flax Clark. I'm curious about the flax there, you know, Eric. Not sure where they, they, that originated from, but go ahead and share your your introduction with us. Uh, 
Okay, so you have to take your, can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Loud and clear? Loud and clear. Okay, my name is Ari Clax Clark. I'm from the British Virgin Islands and the name Flax originated from Antigua. So if you are curious, that's where the name Flax comes from. Um, I'm at Virgin God of Villa Rentals. That's who I'm doing all of this amazing food for this evening. And I'm based in Virgin God of BBI. Okay, thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, as you realize, we are centered around the British Virgin Islands this evening and Jamaica. And um, both our chefs, they have quite the repertoire and they just introduced themselves, but I'd just like to formally introduce Q.A. Sinclair, better known as Chef Ari in a South Florida resident, originally from the island of Jamaica. He's a professionally certified personal chef and caterer with a passion for amazing food and great service. Chef Ari earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in architecture from the University of Florida in Gainesville before earning an associate's degree in the culinary arts from John and Wales University in, South, in North Miami. Then, of course, we journey over to the British Virgin Islands with Eric Flax Clark. At the age of six, Eric would be heard in the kitchen preparing simple meals. Now at age 21, Eric is leaving impressions of his gastronomic delights to food enthusiasts. Eric hails from the island of Virgin Gorda in the British Virgin Islands and is currently in his final year at Johnson and Wales University in Miami, Florida. As Eric grows, so does his culinary repertoire. So welcome, gentlemen. We are looking forward this evening to some sizzling international dishes and where I am from and I'm sure it's common to you as well we could possibly say food sweets up so by the time you're done with us this evening we ought to be having um or, or palettes are going to be so tantalized that we're going to say man I wish I could just reach in and grab and have my plate. So prepare yourselves. Those of you who are um, enthusiasts of culinary uh, dishes, then you can start taking notes. They won't mind. You can start. Right now it is eight minutes after five o'clock. And as we would say, we are doing great. So wanna say welcome to everybody and um, as they are in the background prepping in my um, earlier feature, I featured the both islands from their destinations with the, the tourism theme to it. And um, of course, I like to entertain as much as I can. And so while they are prepping, we do have uh, a bit more entertainment for you, which I will be getting into in seconds and hoping that you will enjoy the feature with me because um, it promises to be good. We can't wait for the finished product, but in between that, as you can see, they're preparing and I do have something for you. But before that, um, in their prep work, they do have their recipes that they would like to share with us. So Chef Irie, can you tell us what you will be preparing this evening before we get into it? Okay, okay. Uh, real quickly, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm prepped and ready to go in terms of making the dish that I'm going to make, so I'm sort of making it a la minute, but if you are wanting me to start it and then you come back to me, let me know that and I can, I can do that. So tonight we're making a uh, masala spice pork chop, and we're going to be serving that with um, mashed green bananas and uh, sorrel sauce and kalalu. And I hear the sorrel there because we know we're in the Christmas season right now. 
Yes, yeah, so, so you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I definitely <laughs> wanted to, you know, really tell a little story about, you know, my Christmas, you know, as as a kid. So a lot of these elements may not be the, egg, you know, the same way it was then, mm -hmm. but they are all elements that, you know, are eaten, not just throughout the year, but there's some special significance when it comes to Christmas, the boiled banana, the pork, the sorrel, the callaloo, you know, everything, you all know, right. breakfast, lunch, dinner, ham, New Year's, yes. Absolutely. And um, I do know, so Eric, I'll get to you in a minute, but I do know that we also have our special guest on, Miss Nadine Sutherland. Nadine, are you there? Nadine, are you there with me? All right, so Nadine Sutherland is going to be a part of this evening's feature. We'll be talking about her music, the good old days of Christmas, and savoring what is being prepared by both uh, Chef Irie and Eric. So, Eric, what will you be doing this evening? Well, today, this evening, I'll be doing a spiced pork belly. The pork belly has been sous vide for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. um, so it will be as tender as you can think. Falling, the fat, the moisture, the meat, everything is just falling off. Uh, that will be paired with a roasted butternut squash puree, a pancet leeks, mm -hmm. a guava reduction. I love guava because I, I enjoy guava tart. Mm -hmm. And it also, guava actually pairs well with pork. Um, in addition, I'll have pickled onions as well and garnished with uh, fresh herbs that I got here locally. Mm -hmm. so that, that will be all for today. All righty. So we're looking forward. Can I say I'm feeling a bit um, <clears throat> hungry right now? <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to have from both of you and that's just going to work fine for me. So uh, it, it is going to be a great evening. And I am just going to say, go right ahead, do what you do. I'll do what I do to engage the audience who are here. And um, people are already asking about where they can find the recipes. So, you know, you're in great demand. So as you're seeing on the screen, ladies and gentlemen, they are preparing and um, we are ready to go. So I am trying to figure out where is Miss Nadine Sutherland. Nadine, are you with me? No, she's not. So while you, they are doing what they're doing, guess what? I'm taking you back to some real good music and you stick and stay with me because it promises to be good. In the BVI, we celebrate Christmas in the BVI. We sing him a Christmas in the BVI. We celebrate Christmas in the BVI. We sing him a coming home, coming oh, home. Coming home. Everybody. Oh yes we come coming home come no time to roll coming home cause it's Christmas time again Oh yes celebrate celebrate we celebrate, celebrate and make it make great. it celebrate great. celebrate the mother of Jesus Christ again Oh yes we celebrate celebrate we celebrate and make it to bring a day celebrate the mother of Jesus Christ again we sing him a Christmas in the BBI we celebrate Christmas in the BBI we sing him a Christmas in the BBI. We celebrate Christmas in the BBI. We sing him a cooking ham. Cookie we cooking ham. Cookie yes, ham. that cookie ham. ham cooking ham, cause it's Christmas time again. Oh, yes. Cooking ham, cooking ham. Oh, that ham. Cooking Bless ham. that cooking ham. ham. Cooking ham, cause it's Christmas time again. Oh, yes. Plenty tart, plenty tart. Plenty tart. Oh, that tart. Plenty tart. Cause it's Christmas time again. Oh yes, plenty tart, plenty tart. Guava berry tart, coconut tart. Plenty tart, time again. Oh yes, we caroling, we caroling once again. Caroling in your neighborhood again. Oh yes, we caroling, we caroling. So tell a friend. Caroling in your neighborhood again. We sing about Christmas in the BBI. We 
So I am back. Welcome. And I'm seeing a very beautiful lady who is adjusting her spectacles <laughs> as we speak. So, <laughs> all righty. So, yes. So give me one moment, Nadine. Sure. Yes. So give me one moment here. That's a nice song. All righty. So let's get on with it now. So I'm looking at a beautiful lady. Again, she was adjusting her spectacles. And then I don't see where the spectacles gone. But anyway, Miss Nadine Sutherland, my name is Lady D. Denise Gomez. It's a pleasure having you on my platform. As we say, how you do? I am wonderful. How you do? Me good, me good, me good. I have I been know. looking forward to this um, event. And then mm -hmm. uh, a birdie happened to pass by my windowsill. Right. And tweeted that, you know, Nadine is going to be joining you. I was like, what? Couldn't believe it. Yeah, so, that's so wonderful. Yes, and you see how um, life is. Um, events can bring people together, I right? Know, right? I know. Mm -hmm. So, how are you? Where are you talking to me from? I'm speaking to you from my veranda in Kingston, Jamaica. All righty. Yeah. And yeah. speaking of such a wonderful thing that anywhere in the world you can talk and chat and have a conversation, right? Can you figure? And I'm looking at, well, it's what time now? 17 after 5. It's dark on the outside for us. Am I looking at light on the outside for you? There is, it's get dark in, in Jamaica quickly, you know, more in, usually at this time. We call mm -hmm. it our winter time. But I know in America, you're in New York or you're in yes, New Jersey? I'm in New York. Right. It gets really dark, like at four, right? Right. It gets yes. dark probably six o'clock. Okay. So you, you still a little, yeah. have a little light out. So welcome. Still have, still have a light. Yes. So here we are on this grand platform. We have two phenomenal chefs who are catering for us. And um, I'm sure we're going to have to request the services of FedEx. Well, you know what? I, me and my sister was discuss, discuss, discussing something. Mm -hmm. And last, I mean, last week Sunday when I saw that spread that the chefs from Antigua did, mm -hmm. I was like, can you send some for me in Jamaica? <laughs> so, some service have to have. No, <laughs> you don't have to right. send them send your food because it was yes. so delicious. Yes, He's yes. right. So I'm still thinking about and also the kids' soup, and then they made this the pancake with plantains and corn. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I have to think about food. Yeah, I, for the I whole know. day. <laughs> I know, I know. So you and I are going to be chatting up a storm, and I do have a selection of yours that I'd like to play in the segment as well. And then we will go back to our chefs to find out how the progress is going. Cause I'm looking at Arik right there and something simmering, stirring and stuff like that. So we want to interact with them as well to find out how they're doing. But tell me how has um, things been with you? I know you were here in New York with us for some time. Well, things has been, it's been, uh... It's funny thing when I analyze this year, it didn't go as how I planned because it's mm -hmm. my 40th year in the music industry. And I thought that yes. I would be performing left, right, center. And, you know, at this time, I would have the big show with Nadine and friends. That didn't happen. But mm -hmm. I surely had this year. A lot of songs that I've, did, I've done a long time ago were, were released. Mm -hmm. I have done a video. I every month there is something new. I think I didn't do the worldwide tour physically, but yes. I did a virtual worldwide tour because mm -hmm. I think that everywhere in the world, every continent in the world, I think I've done an interview with a radio personnel. Then 
I did a dub for Kamala before she won, you know, mm -hmm. because I was so inspired by her as a woman, but also as a person with Jamaican Caribbean descent. So yeah. then, you know, dub was part of the um, the popular culture in Jamaica during our our elections. And somebody asked me to do a dub for her, which I did, mm -hmm. and. It was disseminated and it did pretty well. And then she won. She won. She yeah. definitely <laughs> vice president. Paris, right? And I said it in my song because it was almost like I was foretelling what was gonna happen. Happen. So mm -hmm. I was kept busy with that. So you know, it's not as I said before, it's not the year that I planned with my Nadine Fortieth, but it has it has been an extremely positive year for me. I did a lot of stuff which like could have been on the contrary, it could have been a different experience because, you know, COVID, us performers, we don't have any shows. Right. You know, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I was kept busy. I was kept engaged. You know, God just, it was just a, a, a wonderful, good year for me. So mm -hmm. I'm just really thankful, you know, as the year closing in. Of the course. Year next, and I'm just like thanking God. And so far, where the world? Everyone in my family were surviving this pandemic, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. just want, I just want to get through on the other side. It's not going to be a Christmas that we thought it would be as the usual Christmas. This is yeah. a Christmas that I was talking to my cousin. It's the first time we're not going to have a big um, family gathering. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. first time. People that were supposed to come from the States to Jamaica, they're not coming. They're not coming. Right. Yeah. Christmas will be in our hearts, mm -hmm. but... It's going to be a different Christmas, but the good thing, the gift is that we have the gift of life and yeah. we just get to ourselves. We want to make it through until we go on the other side of this pandemic. We will have no celebration. Of course, of yes. course. So I'm going to get back to you in a minute. I'd just like to hop over to Chef Ari. How is it going yes. over there? Can you tell us what you're doing right now? So our audience can get a feel. We started the dish. So right now, hi Nadine Sutherland, how are you? Hey, I share, I share, I can't wait to see what you're doing. I'll meet virtually, oh my God. What do you think of me face to face, baby? Think to me. All right. Now I'm sorting some color look. Yes, you know. One of the things that you know, I'm always you know, upset about, you know, when we cook in greens in Jamaica and other things, we always seem to want to cook them to death. Oh dear, right. Um, yeah. Greens yeah. don't take that long to cook. Mm -hmm. Right? So, sauté the carlo, we do it a little. Pork chop. Oh, don't worry about it. It's only five. <laughs> that looked good for a while. I was like, oh. So we have a pork chop that we uh -huh. started here. We okay. added a little uh, butter, a little oil, some uh, thyme, some mm -hmm. garlic, and uh, some sc a scotch bonnet pepper in there. And now I seared it on one side, both sides, and now I'm going to add some sorrel sauce that I made earlier. And we're going to let this. Go and do its thing. Mm -hmm. You're not telling us what is in that sour sauce? So it's one of the things, how this sauce came about for me, way back when. So I had the leftover um, sorrel, sorrel uh, after you, you, um, you strain it off and everything. And I wanted to not throw the stuff away just yet. So I added sugar, some more sugar, some more spices, right. a lot of juice and stuff, and then just cooked that down and made that into a chutney. Um, so the sauce now, you can actually use um, the actual sorrel drink mm -hmm. to make the sauce. So wow. you just put out a little bit, let it reduce, add some butter, some more spices, some thyme, make it a little bit more savory, and you're mm -hmm. good to go. Oh man, looking forward. So those of you to our viewing audience, you are saying, man, I want to catch that recipe. I know, you remember the days of the slate, Nadine, in school? Yeah. Okay, because we, we, you know, we're still young, so we remember the slate very well. <laughs> so I'm sure there are those who have their slates out taking notes of this great recipe here. 
and um, we can't wait to partake, Chef Iris. So we're getting back to you. And Eric, I'll be coming over to you in a few minutes. So you stick no and stay. You stick and stay with me. Um, Nadine, I want to entertain our audience because I just can't have you here just because, as we would say, right? And so there is a selection of yours that I played on my um, radio show this past Oh, that is that day. Yeah, this past Monday, I played this one and I'd like to, um, of course, entertain our audience. How about that? How about that? Yes. everybody know that mm -hmm. you know the, the important one of the, the important component of this dish yeah. is rum because you know all through the Caribbean we are known for our excellent rums mm -hmm. of course Jamaica is no stranger to excellent rum right and I was told you know that so we need to feature our rum from our, our country mm -hmm. not only in the dish but I'm also making a cocktail oh and of course we are featuring today Appleton Estate, mm -hmm. 12 year, yes? Yes, yes. Uh, so that's what I'm using today. All righty, so. So, so. Yes, so we're going to make a cocktail when you come back. Mm -hmm. All right, you let me know when you're ready. I'll let you know when I'm ready. So we want to head on over now to the British Virgin Islands with Chef Arik. 
Farid, tell us yes. what your spread is all about there now, because I'm looking at some colorful stuff, right, Nadine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, what we have, I'll, I'll show it in this camera. Okay. Um, what we have here is leeks, which I vacuumed in some olive oil and a little bit of salt. Yes. So, kind of breaks down the, the cells of the leek. And this will be kind of saved so that it will get a nice caramel dark color. I also prepped ahead and did some pickled onions, which is just uh, vinegar, a little bit of water, uh, some sugar, and then I add in some aromatics, which is rosemary in there. So oh. this is the pickled onions and it releases the colors. That's why it's pink. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And then we and have, we also have, we have a reduction, which was pretty much more liquidy than this, but now it's sticking in the inside of the heat. And I also uh, added some cold rum. You can see. Chef and Ari, can you put your screen lower? We can't see so well. Can you lower your screen a little bit so we can see you better? Thank you so much. Oh, there you go. Now we can see it. Thank you. Yeah, I also, I was also, I put in Calwood Rum, which mm -hmm. is the oldest distillery in the Caribbean right now. Oh. They produce the oldest, they produce, they've been producing from since, 17s. So they have been producing for a very long time and they're still in production today. And mm -hmm. this one that I put in the guava reduction is called Panty Dropper, which is a sweetened uh, rum. And if you can look closely, it has a sugar cane in there, which oh, they really? add, oh. which they add um, to all of the, this one, the Panty Dropper one. Okay, wow. that's interesting. Very interesting. Oh my goodness. You know, there's something about the way chefs spend time and the detail in which they have to, to work. Not just to lay out, but you know, how they proportion things, Nadine and, and so on. And then you and I can, again, we dash stuff, right? Right. <laughs> we do a dash here and a dash there, but when they're doing their things, and even if I cook, it might not taste the same way like theirs. And I'm like, what am I missing here? What am I missing? So I thank you so much, gentlemen. Keep going. And so Nadine, I am from Clarendon. Right. Right. I was born in Kingston. Unlike most children who they send you from country to town, I went from town to country. Yeah, I sound like me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we had, we had the best experience, right? And right. At, it, we're in the Christmas season. At Christmas time, there was so much to do. We were never bored. The whitewashing of the stone, oh. right? Neighbors would be whitewashing their stones. And I was saying recently that no matter who is cooking stew chicken, or fried chicken. Each house has a unique smell. Right. It's the same meat, but there's a unique smell, that aroma that comes out of these houses. Right. What, right. what has your experience been like? Well, one thing I know that when I was in the country, the chicken smelled differently from town chicken because everybody grew their chicken. Right, backyard. Get little chicky, chicky, chicky from Right. and grow them yeah. so they, and then they ha it tasted different from mm -hmm. what you got in the supermarket in Kingston mm -hmm. some of them they tough do a lot of the bone mm -hmm. some of the chicken then they tough but I just remember that it tasted differently it was a richer taste mm -hmm. although the different poses like you know had their own way of cooking the chicken because they were grown homegrown because everybody have them like a cook Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I am telling you. And and um 
you know, the, the, the Christmas breeze. There's something about the Christmas breeze. I, have home now. I came from New York and mm -hmm. let me tell you something. If it's one time that I'm enjoying this Christmas, it must be because it's Malakin and quarantine. Because I'm currently quarantined. Yes. So enjoy the breeze. Then at night, you're in the Caribbean and you have to draw for blankets, you know. Mm -hmm. I love, for me, the, my favorite part of the year in the Caribbean. Yes. Jamaica is from November until April. November, December, January, February, March, April. So I enjoy like because of the temperature. Yes. The vibe of the place. Because mm -hmm. of the smell of the place, especially like between November to February when the points get to us and then there are certain things. I'm like, there's some very slight detectable stuff that basically distinguished the the um seasons in Jamaica telling people that we have seasons but you have to open their specific fruit uh, is I'm just not crazy about the fruits that come out for the same book I mean tangerine and a friend <laughs> you, you, don't, right. you don't like you don't like the taste I don't dislike it but I'm not crazy like look, crazy when about it. Come, like get mm -hmm. it just done and I'm upset so Guinness, Guinness is like a fall fruit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, but, but speaking of Guinness, um, well, star apple, I love. Uh, but you know that not coming off for nobody. You just have to go get the star right. apple yourself, right? Yeah. They say it's a mean fruit. But I don't know if you've ever had that star apple in, uh, as a drink. No. It is the nicest something. Are you serious? Yes, you can actually blend the star apple. Never had it. It before. has it's its natural sweetener, so it tastes really good. And a, a, again, a dash of ginger in it, and it gives that nice, nice flavor. Wow. Yes. So Good evening once again, everyone. I hope you're enjoying our broadcast. I'm having discussions with Nadine Sutherland, one of our international artists out of Jamaica. And I just played a selection of hers. And I just want you to give us a quick synopsis of how that song came together, Nadine, after which we'll go back over to our, our chefs. Chat to chat was done was written and recorded when I was a student at the University of the West Indies actually. Mm -hmm. And um, last year, October, the producers just came to me that they're gonna release it. Oh and, yeah and I'm like it was in time when the Nadine fought it and they're like we want to sh we shot the video and everything and yeah I wrote it because there's somebody that I know that was extremely dysfunctional in terms of just like gossiping about people. Okay. So that's, yes. it. So that's where that came from. Right. But uh, while it was being played, I was looking at you and you were enjoying it. So I wanted to, because sometimes artists will tell you they don't watch their work or if it's an author, they hardly ever go back and read and all that. But I saw you really engrossed and enjoying your own performance. Actually, I thought I was nicely styled. I <laughs> my stylist is a right. rock star. He's he's like a, 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 a celebrity stylist, no, you know, young creative mind. So I but I like the song. I like the song. It was you know I like the lyrics and I like you know I, when I like my work, I, I'm very highly critical of myself. Very very. Mm. So okay. I tend to be harsh on myself, but I actually thought it was pretty okay. And the, the editing and all of that, you know, was mm -hmm. a performance. Well, it was not supposed to be a performance video. It was supposed to be a video with um, a dramatic scene, but that was so senseless. So it just ended up being a, <laughs> I hear you. a performance video and it worked, you know? worked it worked well um for those of you who are tuning in we welcome you to the 12 days of our caribbean um get up here as i call it i remember just last week um Durban malcolm okay Durban malcolm had called me and said lady d i hear that you're hosting 12 days of christmas i'm like <laughs> okay but you know here we are with the pandemic and we keep talking about it because it's what it is but it's also bringing us together on a larger 
platform for many of us that we could have attained otherwise, you know? Right, right. And so it's even my first time. I don't know about you, but it's my first time meeting both chefs. Is it likely I would have met them? Food, yeah, right? So food, food does bring us together. I know, right? Great, great food. And so at around, uh, say about 5.50, um, we're going to be having Sharon Flax Brutus, and she is in Virgin Gordon, and we're going to be talking to her as well. And um, let's take a journey again right over to Chef Irie. How is it going over there now? I love where you are. You're on a deck someplace overlooking somewhere or another. Just yes, I am. Yes, loving the view. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. So what are we flipping around there now? So this is a, a callaloo that's sauteed. It's ready to go. The pork is ready to go. The bananas is ready to go. Mm -hmm. And I was just in, um, finishing up this cocktail. So I can tell you what's in the cocktail. Yes, Our please. So um, we got rum, the appetite in our shake-up, orange juice, uh, pineapple juice, a little lime juice, a little orange bitters, mm -hmm. and we have pumpkin simple syrup. Okay. A little bit of that. Mm -hmm. Now we're just going to shake it up. Top it down, nice and good. And you know, Chef Ari, a few of our viewers are saying they would really have loved to get a closer shot. Of? They'd like to get a closer shot. Well, of what? Well, of what you're preparing there. I can't get it closer to the camera unless I bring it up to you like that. Okay. Well, that's a drink. So this is a drink. Garnish with a little cinnamon stick. All right, some. And mint. Mm -hmm. All righty, so I'm coming over in a few. <laughs> Most definitely. You know, so the, 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 while you're really enjoying this show, this is just stressful. I'm not lying. <laughs> no stress, no stress. So I'm going to play this dish now. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I'm ready to do that. Okay, all right. So give us a few. So Nadine, let's talk to Arik Flax Clark. Arik, we see you stirring up something there. Let's hear what your what your mix is all about. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. What I'm doing is just um, I did some roasted butternut swap oil and. Uh, now that it's finished roasting, I put it in a frying pan. I seasoned it with cinnamon, some nutmeg, so just some Caribbean spices, you know, yes. salt, pepper, and some thyme. Mm -hmm. And now I'm blending it all together with some coconut milk. Oh, okay. whoa! A lot of hear that? Wow! A lot of varieties of flavors that are being added here tonight. Yeah. So the texture is. The texture that I'm looking for is like a like a, a mashed potato, like a smooth mashed potato. Wow. So that's that's the texture that I'm going for because uh, of the salt and plate up that I'm trying to pull off tonight. Oh, oh God. Yeah. you hear that pull off there, Nadine. Ah. <laughs> what can I say? So it's just sometimes we have to improvise, you know. Yes, yes. On the spot situations. That's how I like to, to do my, my stuff. Okay. And I, you, I see Chef Ari scooping and showing us consistency and all that good stuff. Exactly, madam. All righty. See, Nadine, we turn big cook, you know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so stick and stay with us. Of course, um, Nadine Sutherland is with me and we are having a great time chitting and chatting and just talking and um, enjoying the preparations of both our chefs, the British Virgin Islands and Jamaica combined this evening. What a flavor. 
stay with me, don't go anywhere, reminding you that we are live this evening and um, we are just uh, reminding our viewers that you can share the link, have people coming in and enjoying. Oh, come all ye foodies. As a matter of fact, maybe you could just drop a line of oh, come all ye foodies. Oh, come all ye foodies. That's right. It's the 12 days of Caribbean cooking festival. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> so I, and I love it. I, I when I when I was first asked, I didn't even want to say anything else to Dereed. She said, Denise, you think you'd like to send? I'm like, yes, please. I would just love, you know, because I know it would be engaging, informative, it's entertaining, and it's food. And exactly. that's what that's what we do. We we don't know anything else, and you know, it, it is what it is. So right now, I'm just also um, reminding our viewers that while you're there enjoying what is going on, um, both our chefs are quite accomplished men in their own field, and um, I, I also want to say, you know, that if we were to describe some of, um, as we would say, how we enjoy the food, right? We could say it's sizzling, it's tantalizing. Come, Nadine, help me out here with some adjectives. Mm -hmm. delicious, delectable, delightful. <laughs> delightful. And again, we say food sweets up. When you eat good food, you know, sometimes your, your toes curl. Yeah, delightful. I, I don't know, you know, we are on a platform here, but there are times when you have had to look at the plate and say, now what do I do with the gravy? Something has to happen to the gravy. So you, you, you reach for something that you know well. You reach for a slice of bread or something just to saturate up and enjoy what I like to know that gravy don't go to waste oh my goodness that, that thing looks good man yes it does it I, does I'm telling you I'm that that coconut thing that in that blender looks delicious both chefs look like they're just like engrossed just just like Mm -hmm. creating some delicious looking and exciting mm -hmm. looking food mm -hmm. and we're oh yes we're on oh i'm so sorry someone was just asking if we're on yet because they're running a bit late all right so what are we doing there now chef irie so we're just adding a little more dessert sauce before it was cooked and Added the gravy around, and now I'm just going to add some green micros, and the dish is done. Oh, man. Uh, I'm, more. Chef Harry, I'm a little bit curious. Where are you? I'm seeing all these glittering lights of the city. I know you're on a balcony. Yes, so I live in Hollandale Beach, if you're familiar with South Florida, and I don't live in Oh, South you're in South Florida. I'm like, you could not be in New York. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> there, but he cannot be in oh, New York on that on, balcony cooking. On the outside, yeah. right? Definitely not in New York, my dear. <laughs> yeah, we loved it. We're loving the view. So you have your own restaurant, Chef Irie? No, we just do private chef and um, personal chef catering. So, oh, yeah, we cater to all type of individuals here in South Florida, athletes, entertainers, regular people, semi-regular people, you know, small events, large events. So that's what I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right, nice. And um, while we are doing that, I do want to just um, invite our audience just to take a quick look at a very short feature. So now that we're fish this season, we're yes. putting back over that side. All right. All right, we're gonna let it sit just for a little bit because you want the flavors to develop a little gotcha. bit. So we have our dough here. Mm -hmm. And um, as you were saying to me earlier, shark and bake is about 
the beak. It's about the beak. So I let it, you know, made the dough, roll it out, and now we're going to do our thing. Okay. So I want you to just, just take up and just sort of lay it in. When you put it in, just lay Gently it away so from I don't you. splash the oil in me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, technique. My brother. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> I've seen it done. You've seen it done. <laughs> All right, so here's what I want you yes. to do now. When it come up, splash the oil on it. Yeah, so it keeps okay, so puffing. Now, okay. And yeah. why do you roll it flat? So you roll the dough flat so it will be able to puff up. And the whole thing about shark and big is that the puff creates a space inside. So when you I slice see it, it I see now it. you have a little sandwich. I see it. Okay? I see so it. So this being the way it is, we can, we're going to flip it. So if you want to flip it over, for, oh, I can do it. Right. help you. You might uh, my, my sous chef. Oh, we don't want it to burn you up, see? And we're going to take it out. Okay, all right, we're going to do another one. All right. We're going, so we're going to add the, the second one. We're good. And we're going to do the same thing. All right, so all we're going to do is just drop our fish. Mm -hmm. Both sides flowing. Yes. And then once you do that, just dust it off. That is perfect. And just add them. Yes. And do a couple more pieces and you're all good right. to go. Oh, everybody who knows me, seeing me, in a kitchen <laughs> with an apron actually preparing some food this is is a uh, miracle <laughs> what's past miracle was was it next <laughs> was it next stage past that awesome awesome i love it i love it <laughs> okay <laughs> just thought i'd drop a bit of that there and of course i do have I do have another one that I'd also like to feature. So hello, everyone. Welcome. We're just having fun here on, on our, our feature this evening. And um, it's all about food. So no matter where you are, what you're doing, you have found the time to spend with us here to revel and enjoy what we have. So here is another um feature for you with a well-known gentleman who is with us this evening. I am ready. Oh, that is. Oh, that is. All right, you heard it, you heard it. You heard it. What we're going to do tonight is a roasted red bell pepper aioli with a coconut ricotta cheese and uh, mango and avocado ceviche. You sure you're ready? I am yes, ready. He's ready, okay. <laughs> so that was also a feature of Ari Platts Clark doing his thing and the young woman was just all over the taste. She just couldn't help herself. So, Arik, tell us how it's going there for you now. And um, let us know when you're both ready to plate and so we can see your spread and talk about the dish. And of course, um, I do believe that Sharon Flax Brutus, is she on with us? I believe she is. She's, she's here with us, yes. Okay. I'd like to see her so we can talk to her. Hello, Sharon. Hello. And we do have um, Mr. Reed Whitlock with us as well. So, you know, this when you see them appear, you know, it's the winding down <laughs> eating time. <laughs> Sharon, so, how are you? Long I time. am fine. Long time. So long, nice long to see time. you. So good to see you. And listen, I'm told that we have the Minister of, is it t t Trade? Yes, it's the uh, Junior Minister of Trade. Um, well, can we get the her British on Virgin camera, Islands. please? Can we uh, get she's her gonna on come camera, on camera. Please? And come she's, on actually, <laughs> she's actually my younger sister. Oh, and wow. She's, and she's also the mother of Arik. So it's a, oh, it's, it's a family of family. family. A talented family. family. Yes, yes, and so we nice. have, and, and I know you are always, um, Mr. Whitlock, you're always wanting to see Antiguan um, people as well. Connections, so for sure. The connections. So um, 
my sister is um is mar married to an Antiguan really? of the band. Yes, um, was Lily Charles of um formerly of the band in Antigua. Oh wow, I so remember then, the band, but I don't remember who plays in it. Yeah, so, nice so to we're meet all, you. all one big happy family. And it sounds like it sounds like you guys run things in the BBI. I love it. <laughs> is y'all run guess, things? Yeah, the BBI is a great place. We are so happy to be here this evening, and we're honored that um that Kelly and her team at um you know the travel advisor selling the Caribbean uh, decided to put on this great event um with you know the 12, 12 days of uh of Christmas, Caribbean Christmas, Caribbean culinary. I know like years ago, um persons didn't really travel to the Caribbean thinking that it's a culinary adventure. But the taste of the of the dishes and the seasonings and everything from the Caribbean I'm here waiting for Arik to hurry and finish his dish because it's smelling so good. And he kept saying, Auntie, it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. But I'm enjoying Slow down, I'm Auntie. Enjoying Slow down. <laughs> Karen, did you meet Nadine Sutherland? Uh, no, no, I didn't have the opportunity to. Nadine? Okay. I just saw her. We're, we're waving. Okay. I'm going to invite okay, her to BVI. So that's, Nadine, have you been to the BVI? We're going next year. We're not hearing you. Okay, she probably needs to put yeah, her, she, um, she needs to. We're not yeah. hearing you. So, so um, the, to the, um, to the black ladies. Yes. Okay. yes. So Nadine, have you been to the BVI? I haven't been to the BVI, but I know oh. I'll be going after this. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're going next year. We're going next year. <laughs> so, Minister Flax and Miss Flax Brutus, tell us about. I know you guys have an amazing culinary um, uh, event in the BVI. Of course, I'm sure this year you didn't have it, but I've heard so much about. I know culinary is huge for you guys, and I follow, I've been following some of the things that you've been having. I know you guys did something with tennis last year, Sharon, and um, you know, I know that you guys have an amazing um, food scene and entertainment. I love the BVI. So tell us a bit about the cuisine of the BVI. Well, well the cu cuisine is, is very typical of the Caribbean. But in November, for the last eight years, excluding this year, of course, we've had the BVI Lobster Fest and BVI Food Fest. Nice. The month of November... We, we have every single day there's something going on as it relates to the culinary arts in the British Virgin Islands. And what we try to do is to promote our young and upcoming chefs. For instance, Arik has cooked for Venus and Serena. Yes. Williams, um, the famous tennis stars of the world. And, and so we, we try to promote our young people. We have a very young culinary team and we have a very vibrant culinary scene throughout the British Virgin Islands because you know we're made up of 60 islands throughout so it's it's been exciting for us and we hope that after COVID we want to give you a special invitation to come to the British Virgin Islands to enjoy what we have to offer and the interesting thing with culinary and the, and the British Virgin Islands and our food fed, we call it the BVI food fed. It's an event that, um, that not only just happens on one island, we move it around. Mm -hmm. Every weekend, there's a different culinary uh, event on each island. So in Joss Van Dyke, we call it Joss Pork, where the focus is on pork. And then we have Taste of Virgin Water. Um, here we have, you know, Asian fusion, Caribbean cuisine, French, a lot of street food, and Tortola. So again, once you visit us, we'll be taking you by boat. Uh, we'll be taking you by small plane, and it'll be a culinary adventure. Fantastic. Mm. Chef Irie. Yes, ma'am. I, I know you've been to every Caribbean island. Have you been down to the BBI? Uh, <laughs> I haven't been to every Caribbean island, but yes, I have been to BVI. Almost, yeah. almost. I was, I was there um, two years ago, two two years ago before the hurricane. Um, okay, for, uh, 23 years, 2017. So, um, uh, my friend uh, Erica had um, 
put together Erica, Erica Dupree. Dupree Klein. Yeah. Erica, Erica Dupree, Dupree Klein. Yeah. Together. So I was down there with her and her husband and all the other chefs. So uh, awesome, awesome island. Awesome, awesome island. Wonderful. Well, we're welcoming you back. And then this way, maybe you and Ari can team up and do something very special on a beach or somewhere. So we're looking and forward then, to having you back. And you can perform. Of course. Yes. We can oh, set it up. As a matter of fact, you as a, right there. As, as a matter of fact the taste of Virgin Water always Right. is an event that features music from throughout the Caribbean. Fantastic. We've had Arturo Tappin featured many times. He's out of Barbados. Mm -hmm. And um, as Sharon mentioned before, my husband performed with the band mm -hmm. out of Antigua with Claudette Peters. Yes. So, Virgin Water has a very vibrant um, music, music scene as well. I've been the Calypso monarch of the BVN Virgin Water for quite a few years as well. So who was, when you who come was to Jamona, yes. Yeah. Right? So before yeah. she, before she became <laughs> minister, she realized she sang calypso. Still, still sings calypso. So it yeah. um, it makes for a very interesting uh, sister as well as a very interesting minister, junior minister of trade. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that is amazing! And enjoy what we have to offer. Fantastic! I love it. This this is what we do at Task. We bring the entire caravan together. This Wonderful. is amazing, and yeah. we appreciate what uh, what you ladies are doing um, with you know with that group travel agent selling the Caribbean. It helps um, me as well with Virgin Gorda Villa Rentals as well because it shares information that sometimes you know I don't have. Sometimes you get a quick tip from a from an agent who's looking for something special, and I get that little email or that little um, Facebook message and I can jump on it, um, jump on it right away. So I like the personal touch because again, mm -hmm. in the Caribbean, that's really what we're all about. Even though now it has to be a contactless, um, touchy type of yes. experience. But if anybody can pull that off, it's we Caribbean people. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. And, and we call it the task grapevine. Yes, the task and, um, you know, Kelly has been an amazing partner in this. And essentially, we have pretty much pulled, you know, I've basically gone through my role of dance. People like yes. Lady D. I worked with Lady D on a project, what, mm -hmm. two, three years ago. And we, yes. we maintained a, a great relationship. Mm -hmm. And Wonderful. so I think the, 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 um, the story, the testament that we have here is we're all connected. And yes. COVID has really caused us to... I've gone back into my Rolodex and, and, and reconnected with people. You're working on a project. You can pull someone in. When Kelly told me we were working with you, Sharon, I said, yes. oh my God, I haven't seen Sharon in ages. I haven't I seen you Sharon. in a few years. <laughs> yeah. And now that so, we're, we're connecting again and we're Caribbean people. And the one thing I find are two things that always connect Caribbean people. It's music and food. And rum, don't forget and, the rum. And rum, <laughs> don't forget the rum. <laughs> not, necessarily, not necessarily, not necessarily in that in order. I know order that for everybody. Yes, I really yeah. have some rum sitting on the counter here, and I said once we um once we get done, um we're going to um to have a yeah. little have a little tickle, <laughs> and oh, so wow. I know that um Jamaica Ari. Chef Ari has his rum too, mm -hmm. but I would say you know the Carlwood rum will come up against any Caribbean rum uh, any day. The one I'm holding is Spice. Yes, oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, yes. and, and, and I'm going to make you the rooms. look at the label on this one. This is very interesting. Sometimes I don't even like to say the name. This one is called the Panty Dropper. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's the name of it. <laughs> But I'll tell you, it's very tasty. It's a spice rum. Oh God, so that's only, hilarious. Only we Caribbean people can mix it up that way. But I'm thanks so much. You. Thanks so much, ladies. Thank you. Oh, we Thank so you. appreciate welcome. you guys and have a You're very welcome. Merry Christmas. We really you appreciate too. Merry you. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. And we're coming holidays. to the BVI next year. We're, yes. This time next and year. And we share drink. Sounds Wonderful. great. Thank you right, so much. And we much. hop over to Jamaica and Antigua and all of the other Caribbean islands as well. Let's We're do one it. big happy family. Let's right. do it. We really appreciate Thank you guys. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. Thank, you, very Thank much. you so much. Oh, fabulous. Now, Dereed, when yes. I heard Eric actually said, you know, the, the pandemic. I heard him, but I kind of pretend <laughs> like I didn't hear. I kind of like, okay. I, kind of like, I don't know if Nadine realized if he heard. 
but that's what I heard. So I'm like, Oh, okay. I saw <laughs> your I face too. Follow I saw your face, but I was like, okay, let, let's keep this moving. But, but I you didn't know, through. If that's what it is, that's what it, it is. It is right? what it is, right? But we are really <laughs> having a good afternoon here. It is. Nadine, and, are you still uh, with us? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I, 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 see, like, I see that my quarantine um, app is saying that I have to go and do a check in. So I probably have to leave you soon. Well, I'll listen. Uh, we are so appreciative yeah. of your time. Right. Um, but I want you to always see bring what Ari have. Ari, can I just see quickly before I go? What Ari sure, have? sure. Let's go yeah. to Arik. Yeah. So, Arik, let's hear what you have. What we have. Hold it up a little bit, Arik. Your camera's a little. Yeah, hold it up. There you go. A little higher. There you go. So, tell us what you have. Good. That's it. Okay, so what we have at the bottom is the butternut squash puree, and then we have the the leeks, which are stacked, which the the pork is now stacked on. Um, I fried it to perfection, of course. Of course. And that's why it gives it a nice golden crust color. And then the the pickled onions are around, and all of the the microgreens that you're seeing came from a farm here in Virgin Garda, which yeah. they are called Agri Paradise. They they do very excellent um, herbs and microgreens, lettuce, anything that you can think of. And then you have the pickled onions, which go around the, the puree as well. Okay. Fantastic. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. That All right, was fantastic. Eric. Yeah. I wanted to see the food. Well, yeah, yeah, send some for me. Anyway, <laughs> Shepari, Ari, bye, Miss D, bye, the read. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. 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 Thank I tell you, you, sh you show up and you don't even know what you're in for. Yes, yes. Somebody here says, oh, my chef, Eric, sounds amazing. You know. And the names are so close. Irie and Arik. Yes. <laughs> it sounds like you're saying Irie with an American accent when you say Arik, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, um, so now we're seeing the darkened night of the skyline. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's night for here. Yes, so, Ari. Yes. yes. So let us see your spread right now. So this is our dish. Um, so we have our pork chop, very you know, thickened, and we have our mashed green bananas. So we got uh, coconut milk, um, parsley, green onion, coke. Uh, what else? Scotch bonnet. And, um, and spices, a little of the garam masala that was used on the pork chop. And of course, we have our kalalu, the sauteed real, you know, nice with some scotch bonnet, some onion, some garlic, and some seasoning. And of course, the sauce on the plate, which is our sorrel sauce. Nice. Um, we cooked the pork chop in. After it was cooked, took the pork chop out, added some butter just to finish that sauce off and uh plate it up and uh this is what we have oh fantastic beautiful, beautiful. Irie, Thank chef you. Irie, i have a question for you fire away the, the sorrow um sauce yes is it tart or is it sweet or is it both hmm it's slightly tart but more on the sweeter side because mm -hmm. it, um, the, the origins of it for me started out as a chutney and okay. so to make as a chutney, you want it to be on the sweeter side. Right, but, right. Because, you know, so, but you, then you can balance it out now because now you're adding more savory notes, thyme, garlic. Um, you're adding, uh, you know, thyme, garlic, parsley, you know. So you're balancing out the tart and the sweetness. Um, and you're going to add, now that you've added butter, um, mm -hmm. to it, so that it makes it even more refined sauce. Yes. Fantastic. And, Ari, and since, we have, you, since we have the mic on you, tell us, I've heard this story before, but tell us about your, your childhood 
memories of killing the pig and getting the pork ready for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting yeah. because um, this dish, you know, represents so many different elements of not just my childhood, um, but Christmas in general. You know, the pork would, you know, reference to the pig we kill. Um, the, the mashed green banana breakfast, the color, you know, color little breakfast. Um, so for me, those were all important. But as a kid, you know, we raised animals, you know, goats, pigs, chickens, all that good stuff. And um, every year, you know, wh whether it's a goat or a pig or a pig or two, but definitely a pig is being killed during the Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and for us, it wasn't just that we're just mm -hmm. killing it. For us, it was, you know, e economics. You know, it was about, you know, um, killing, selling, and making money. Making money. Um, but mm -hmm. as a kid, um, the men would come. We would know who the pig was. And it's kind of crazy. And people <laughs> laugh at me when I say this. The pigs were my friends. <laughs> um, they were my friends. They really were. But mm -hmm. when it comes time to making that money, I had no allegiance. <laughs> <laughs> Got because you. I, I too would go out and help to kill the pig. Mm -hmm. um, and so the whole experience of, you know, the whole process um, and going through all, you know, from the killing to the, the butchering, to portioning, to selling, to prepping that leg of that butt for Christmas ham. And my mom always timed it so perfectly that when she would kill that pig and we had that butt and it was, you know, the salt pita and the seasoning and wrap it in newspaper and brown paper, put it in the fridge and you flip it over several times. And then a couple of days before you take it out and then you boil that bad boy. And then right. in the morning, you're, you're cloving it, you're pineapple in it, you're mm -hmm. all kind of stuff to it. Mm -hmm. and then they get in the oven. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's so, what we say to die for. Yes, to die for. for. Sure. It was awesome. And of course, by the time New Year's Eve come or New Year's Day come, you've made multiple um, ham sandwiches. Oh, ham yeah. Ham You're down to the bone. You're down to the bone. <laughs> yes, yes. All that's left now is that bone and yep. little scraps of meat on it. Okay. And I'm going to make gungu peas soup. soup. Gungu yes. peas yes. is now yes. in season. Mm -hmm. And you're going to make that gungu peas ham bone soup. Yep. Oh, my goodness. God. Right. Yes. Yes. Now, know what you're talking about. Know what yes. you're talking um, about. Those are memories, you know, that you know, I cherish. Um, you know, that the whole cleaning of the house and, you know, seeing Grandma come because they come after church on Christmas Day. And my uncles and my auntie and cousins, everybody coming over and, you know, sitting as a family um and i think of all the, of all my christmas memories and christmas holiday memories i think the ones that mean the most to me are the ones that i had when i had all my most of my family um there in jamaica to come you know i came to the, the states and christmas is cool you know but it, it it's never been the same you know, mm -hmm. it just hasn't been the same, but you enjoy it nonetheless. Yes, I yeah. have family here. And because I'm able to do what I do and spread joy to, you know, sometimes families, um, I enjoy it as much as I can. So, you know, but big ups to all the people, all you travel agents that are selling the Caribbean, yeah. you know, TASC, um, large up yourselves because mm -hmm. this too, uh, the thing that we're in right now, they call this the pandemic. It too shall pass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep preparing, keep uh, doing everything. And I am almost, I am very certain that every tourist board and every travel agency and, and every country right now is very appreciative because tourism is what sells our country. We want to see people come to our islands, try our food, dance to our music, um, learn about our culture, stay in our hotels, talk to our people, braid your hair, whatever you want to do, <laughs> come and have an awesome time in our Caribbean islands. I'm sure as much as I can do, I, I'm there for it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yep. And you well know what, said. Chef Irie, I always say, 
if you are a Caribbean chef, regardless where you are, whether you're located in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. you're in the diaspora, wherever you are, our, well, you say it as well, that the, our food has so many layers to it. If you're cooking Caribbean food, you're a culinary ambassador yes. because there is some story behind what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we really yeah. appreciate Always. the role that Always. our chefs play in promoting our, our, our culinary product. And regardless where you are, we want to support all of our Caribbean chefs and to highlight the important work that you do. Um, Ari, don't go anywhere. We want to hear your Christmas memories and yes. what, me what Christmas means to you as well. I want to know any, any butchering, any pig killing, goat <laughs> killing. You know, how, oh. how, how the meat, how the meat go in, um, how the meat kind go in, um, in, in BVI, in BVI, real, tell us, real tell quick, us, real quick, Dorit, can I, do, I didn't get a chance to say hello to sure. Arik and, um, blessings to Arik, my brother, hope one day that, chef, how are you? But, um, I know that you're a Jehu, a Jehu dude, yes, so yes, I'm yes, yes, as well. <laughs> so big ups, my brother, big ups, yes. yeah, man, nice. so go ahead, Arik. Um, well, Christmas here in the BVI, um, filled with guava berry rum, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, endless, endless guava berry rum and a lot of, lot of tabs. I, I mentioned earlier in, in, the, in the Zoom meeting that we do a lot of variety of tabs. So I'm a, I'm a guava tab lover. Nice. We, we, have, we have a war here. Well, a, a fun war here in the BVI. <laughs> where okay. persons like different tarts. So they have coconut tart, your pineapple mm -hmm. tart, your guava mm -hmm. tart. But I'm all I'm all guava team. Okay. <laughs> but Christmas here is always a blessing. We have endless amount of hams, endless amount of meats and music. Music of course since my mom is a since my mom is a musician, uh, she's always singing around the house and different at different events and stuff and then just having good quality time with family that's that's the most important thing about christmas anyways yeah. so and with caribbean people as as we know we always come together once christmas time is is around you know so you have people that you might not even see for maybe two three years but a christmas is when they normally come home back here to the bvi as well so okay thank you so much and you, sounds like you you've had a good life so far you know well, I've, I've, been, I've been fortunate yes you've been, been fortunate. fortunate absolutely um, this year even during to covid it's been very tough but uh a lot of a lot of good things has happened well for me and for my family this year, I just graduated actually from Johnson and Wales with my master's degree. And Congratulations. I got Congratulations. Thank you. I, I got my master's in hospitality. So it, it's been a, a, a good but bad year, bittersweet, as we, we would say. Would say. Mm -hmm. so, but this Christmas, I know it will be an endless amount of fun. So Okay. Nice, nice. Fantastic. Now, Dereed, I'm saying to myself, between Chef Ari and mm -hmm. Arik, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> if I could be so presumptuous to say, it would be good if it could be like the feeding of the 5,000. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> I'll bring the loaves if you bring the fish. How's that? I don't know. <laughs> you know yeah. I don't know if we're, if you know, we're that blessed. Yes, man. It, it is. Yes. You know, we, we really appreciate what you have demonstrated here for us this evening, because just looking at how it appears so easy, right, Dereed? Oh, yeah. Effort you know, with these guys. These guys are, oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's just, just a one, two, three. While we have to, um, you know, knead and massage they already know what they're doing, how it's going to be laid out, all that kind of thing. And uh, it's food. And it's so it creative. Some of the things yes. they put on the plate, they're so creative. Yeah. So I, I really yes. appreciate that. I mean, whoever thought, I, prior to this um, cooking series, you drink sorrel. I didn't know, know sorrel could go on my pork. 
you know, but I, I'll definitely try it now. You know, it's, it's, Sor it's, it's Sorrel can go in so many different things. Sorrel on the, yeah. in the top, Sorrel ice cream. Um, oh my goodness, yeah. that must be amazing. So many different things that you could use Sorrel for right ice now. Trust me. <laughs> but I mean, we we add cola champagne to the ham. Ooh, okay. With, with Sorrel, yeah. yeah. Not mm -hmm. with not with the Sorrel. You can use cola champagne and just mm -hmm. yeah. And so it gives it a nice flavor. Next, really next year, uh -huh. when you make the sorrel and reduce it a little bit, use that as a glaze for your ham or your chicken. Hmm. Hmm. You, I, I know there's sorrel shandy. Huh? I know there's shandy, sorrel shandy, and ginger shandy. Yes, yeah, you know, you can probably yeah. use some of that stuff, but you know, you want to do this from scratch. You want to use the right, sorrel, right. the sorrel, so you get the, the, the full bodied flavor mm -hmm. of the sorrel and the ginger that you're putting in there. So the good thing is, you know, you can like, use even already made sorrel, you know, right. because as, you know, especially the one that has the, the, the encouragement in it. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Right. We all, we all could use some encouragement. <laughs> yes, we can, darling. Yeah, yes. yeah. And well, so let's see if we have any questions. I know there's been a lot, we've had a lot of comments. Yeah. And Denise, you can you can probably help me out here. You have Let's the see. radio voice. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, Everybody's talking about your pork chops, uh, Chef Irie. Awesome. And awesome. the dishes look so appetizing. Yeah. Um, you know, somebody mm -hmm. wants to adopt. Somebody Chef says Irie. I. Yes. Chef Irie, somebody wants I to. I need adopt some here. recipes. I don't know if they know I, what they're I, getting into. I'm up to adoption. <laughs> You're up for adoption. <laughs> Somebody says I need some recipes for making and using sorrel. Well, um, to the right we have yeah. here. Well, you know what, Chef? Why don't right you share way. your social media handles so that our guests can mm -hmm. can uh, follow you, um, engage, yeah. um, share your information. Sure. Mm -hmm. So for me, Chef Irie, you can find me on Instagram at I am Chef Irie, um, Twitter, Chef Irie, and um, Facebook. You can, I have a, a new profile page that's going about my business page. It's uh, Chef Irie Spice. So you can, you can look that up. Uh, so that's how you can find me. And I'm usually on most of the time um, IG right now. Um, but, you know, holla, DMs, you know, ask any questions you want want some my advice and some recipes let me know and chefs before you you indulge in that food can you send us some great pictures we want to post yeah, them yeah, on yeah, our yeah, site yeah, so yeah, before you yeah. before you attack the um the meal yeah, dinner, please right? send us some pictures <laughs> we really appreciate it yes. um it's chef it's arik good. share with right. us your how can we find you uh my instagram is fit chef uh, um, fit chef underscore flax. What and my, say that again? So is that fit, is that F I, F -I, -T? F -I -T. Yeah, oh, F I T. Oh, yeah. T. Okay. Fit chef underscore flax, and then my Facebook is just Eric Flax. Okay, very nice. And could we see your spread? Yeah, show it to us yes. one more time, just for people who may not have. Um, Eric, there you go. You got it. Oh wow. So, Chef Arik, are you going to enter any contests? Are you going on Chopped or Beat Bobby Flay? What's what's in the cards for you? <laughs> well, that that was um, I and Chef America was actually one of my favorite shows growing up, and mm -hmm. I always wanted to walk alongside Chef Bobby Flay. That was one of my favorite uh, chefs at the time. But um, competitions, I don't I don't really do competitions anymore like that because as chefs, I like to to get to know them and understand them better instead of just going up against going. them, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I feel that way it's better, it's more of a learning experience, you know, to to walk alongside chefs instead of going up against chefs. Because, yeah, you just don't want to beat uh, them too badly, right? You just don't want to beat that, them. That, that too, that too. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> and Chef Irie, we know that you are a, tell you are a, a feature on local television in Miami and your PBS series you've told us about. Tell us about your the exposure you've had in terms of broadcast. 
Can you give me like, hold on, cause before we cut, give me like five seconds. Hold on, hold on. Sure, sure. We can't afford for anything to be burning now. No, not at all. So, so hmm. Chef Arik, what are you, um, you're back in the BVI. Are you a private chef? Are you working with Auntie Sharon? What's, what's, where can we find you when people start to return to the BVI? Well, yes, I have a catering company, which is Flax and Co. Catering Services. Um, there's that. And I also walk alongside my Auntie Sharon at um, Virgin Garda Villa Rentals. I did uh, amazing, amazing caterings for, for her. I did about maybe f between five to 10 already. And persons just keep on coming back and saying the food is amazing. So oh, okay. that's one way that you can find me if you through her, through her um, villas. Fantastic. So, villas, so for the villas come with the chef and the chef and the view as well. So oh yep, and we have travel advisors who are always looking for great chefs. You know, especially in COVID, the demand for villas has gone all the way up. People want you know um, smaller. Um, smaller more intimate experiences so you're you're in a very good um spot best of luck to you chef I'll yes. you. I, I mean i i expect to hear that you're going to be that you know in a couple of years you might be the minister of tourism who knows uh -huh. I, I can't yeah it sounds like flex it sounds like the, the um flex people run things in bbi so listen. <laughs> so while you when when you're managing your cooking Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> when 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 y'all come when y'all come to the BVI, just as soon as you got get off the boat, just just ask for flax and we'll be there for you. Fantastic. Right. So you. Chef Irie, tell us about your broadcast mm -hmm. experience. I know we saw your special for Thanksgiving where you did that amazing turkey, and um, I know you are everybody in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale, you, you mentioned your name and they say, oh yeah, we know him. He's always on TV. Tell us about your, <laughs> tell us about your experiences. The experiences have been, you know, really, really awesome over the years. And, uh, you know, thank the, you know, for collaborative efforts and partnerships and, um, you know, people who are always looking out for you. So I have to give big ups to, um, you know, Grace Foods. I have to give big ups to, to make a jerk festival, the committee and the committee members and the founding members. Um, you know, they're always, um, you know, I'm always in something that represents, you know, food and them as supporters and back backers. Um, you know, they, like you said, t television is for Thanksgiving. Um, I did my project for the foundation where we fed. Um, Single mothers in need, and Grace and other collaborative partners, Bedesi, um, Jamaica Women of Florida, um, you know, um, Brown Beat and Fish. They were all sponsors, and we fed over 20, fam 20 different families um, this year. Um, so we're looking. F I'm looking forward to having an awesome year next year. We want uh, my goal. My target goal is 100 families next year. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. um, and the foundation is Chef Irie's Food on Fire Foundation. There you go. Um, that, you know, you can go to Miami Foundation, look it up and donate to the foundation. Please do. And of course, the our our efforts, you know, were not lost over the years. Um, this is Taste the Islands. Uh, culinary Adventures in a Caribbean Kitchen. These are the, this is a compilation of season one and season two of the show that is, um, was seen on American public television, create TV and local PBS channels across the country, nationwide. Um, of course, you can now see it in several Caribbean countries. You can see it on airplanes, going down to Trinidad, you know, on the, on the flight deck. And this is also another project that I've been involved in, Talks in Black. And this features 101 Black chefs here in the United States. Wow. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. about, um, black chefs and the culture and everything. People are always like, you know, we don't know nothing about black chefs. Well, here's a book that features black chefs, you okay. know, and we have representation from the Caribbean, from Africa, all Fantastic. over the mm -hmm. So, Talks in Black, a celebration of black chefs. And you can find that at thechefsconnection.com. 
Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that, Jeff oh. Irie. We are out of time. I yes. also want to remind everyone <laughs> that all of the recipes from all of the chefs will be um, compiled in a, an ebook, which will be used to promote the chefs and also to promote the Caribbean's culinary product. And it will be made available to our travel advisors to help them curate the best experiences for their chefs. Mm -hmm. So I want to also announce that we have two shows tomorrow. We have a one o'clock show where we have two chefs from St. Lucia. We have Chef uh, Orlando, who was recognized by Travel and Leisure as one of the top 20 chefs in the world. We also have uh, Chef Empress Eve, she is a vegan chef. So if you're, if you're interested in vegan dishes, we have that as well. That's at one o'clock. And then at five, we have a chef from Antigua and Barbuda, Chef Roderick Beezer. And then we also have a chef from Belize, Sean Coulian. And listen, Sean is from the Belize uh, team. They were on today doing a test run for their show and they said they're going to bring it they've been watching every day and they said they're going to mash up the place tomorrow they are going to <laughs> they said i don't i i can't wait i'm, I'm going to tune in early because <laughs> they are doing a yeah. production they were they actually had to have a you know a a, a whole dry run today like a like a rehearsal mm -hmm. so not to be missed tomorrow we are going to have uh three countries on display tomorrow and um, not to be missed. And Lady D, you are an amazing. Um, I'm always amazed by your calm. I don't know how. <laughs> I mean, I, I get so excited and I get out of control. You are just always as calm and placid. And I want to thank you for supporting us. And you did a yes. great job. Thank in, you. Um, the flavors of Jamaica, which you're familiar with, but we took you. I bet you didn't know you're going to get to go on a trip. You got to go on a culinary. Absolutely. To the BVI. Yes, and I so learned so much. Um, yes, 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 not I very. You know, the BVI is still one of the one of the best kept secrets mm -hmm. in the Caribbean, and um, so it was our pleasure to take everyone um, to one of the most amazing places. I haven't been to Virgin Gold. I've been to Tortola, so I can't wait to get there next year as well. So, to our audience, you've been amazing. Um, everyone was so excited today um and we had a great show to nadine sutherland my friend yeah. she did not disappoint i know not she at did all TV <laughs> and um i was hoping she would stay to sing chef irie happy birthday chef irie <laughs> had a birthday earlier today, oh yes earlier this week so <laughs> i was you, hoping you, that she you, would sing you. him happy birthday but she had to leave mm -hmm. but chef, chef chef irie from the task team we're sending you lots of love we hope you you had a great birthday Yes. yes, everything is amazing. And just before I go, I, it'd be awesome. And I'm putting this out in the universe that all the chefs that have that are participating in this effort, it would be awesome if we could get together all in person. Oh, we're gonna make it happen. That's gonna make it happen. I'll that would dishes. be something. Oh, oh yeah, goodness. I'll do the dishes. But you know, it's gonna happen. I mean, I'm not yeah. even. I'm not even. I speak things into existence. Anybody who knows me, I mean, it's gonna happen. I mean. It, it may take a year, it may take a two, we may have to do it in two batches. But yes. we'll <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, I mean, need lots of rum. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get a sponsor. We'll get a sponsor. Yes. yes. Which, which rum which rum establishment in the Caribbean wouldn't want to sponsor mm -hmm. 31 chefs from Mama, 21 that, that countries? Be, that would be amazing. You know, yes. that, yes. you know that we wouldn't even charge them that much. You know, mm -hmm. that, I, that that would be a winning. That that's a reality show. That's a talk show. I don't know that that has happened anywhere. As we say, and don't start me up. Where, where's Minister on um, class? <laughs> As we say, we've been able to get the United Chefs of the Caribbean together. Caricom couldn't do it. OECS couldn't do it. British Overseas Territories couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Who did I forget? You know, so Chef Irie, it's gonna happen. Yeah. So let's let's just start to make plans because you know it's it's gonna be a huge production. Yeah. The things I got turn up. The things I got turn up. So it oh, was yes. my pleasure. All it was my pleasure. It was my pleasure. It was my pleasure. Nice meeting you, Chef Irie. Eric, nice meeting you. And we're looking forward to hearing so much more.
of you yes, both. Yes, 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 yes. Have a good evening and Merry Christmas. Good evening and a very Merry Christmas, everyone. Morning. Take care. Take and care. as we say, until walk tomorrow. good. Yeah, walk good. One o'clock tomorrow. See you then. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye, bye. folks. Bye.